Lee, this is the HEC 1000 footprint with the DBF head. Now, why put a DBF head in this machine? What we've done in the past, Mark, is we've put the DBF into the 630 pallet machine, 800 pallet machine, both with the four axis table and laterally with a trunnion. So we've got a really good capability with this DBF, but we've been limited to the size of the component we can fit in. So we can get four tons on a 1000 table, we can swing nearly two metres diameter, so it opens up the portfolio of components that we can utilise this technology on. Now, looking at the DBF head, there's a lot of talk on this machine, isn't there? So are you cutting, or is the customer actually cutting some really hard material? This is predominantly designed for the oil and gas industry, and industries where you've got multiple diameters to machine in a single setup. So often parent metal, steel, or ink and clad components, very hard, tough, high tensile materials to cut where you've got accurate diameters and multiple profiles. So the inside of spool valves, um, uh, ceiling faces, that, that, that type of application. So tell us a little bit about the DBF head. Actually, what, what makes it very differently? Well, the DBF translates in English to milling, drilling and turning. So effectively, we can mill, drill and turn with the head. So when the head's on centre line, as you see it today, it's, it's, a, it's a normal heavy duty spindle. So we've got uh, three and a half thousand revs, we've got 1700 newton meters and 45 kilowatts. What we can then do is we can use, what well, this is a U-axis and we've got 70 millimeters of stroke. So we can use this U-axis to produce multi-diameters with a single tool on very challenging materials. So when you talk about the oil and gas market, this is a perfect solution for them? Well, it's a single setup machining configuration in terms of the fourth or the fifth axis with the trunnion. And the U-axis gives you the ability to produce finished features, multi-diameter, with very few tools. So I presume this could be a, a bit of a game changer for the oil and gas market for Hecker. Well, it just opens, it opens us up into a bigger market to use this technology.